Hi everyone, welcome to week seven. We are really cruising along. We're almost halfway through. At the end of next week, that's halfway through the class. Uh, so kudos for sticking together and keeping it, uh, keeping it going. This week, obviously, a lot of us um, did a great job getting the uh, seven page paper in um, for the persuasive essay. Uh, a lot of us needed some extra time, so I did extend the deadline uh, through the end of this Wednesday. Now, uh, for, for those of us, because a, a few people did you know, work really hard, uh, take time off of work, you know, take time off of family, all sorts of things like that to get this assignment in. I understand it's frustrating when the deadline is extended and you worked really hard to make it. Uh, two things with that. Next time it may be extended for your benefit, at which point, you know, other people may be feeling the same thing. So keep that in mind. It's, uh, it's not taking away anything from, from everybody else to get some extra time. Um, also, keep in mind that if you get extra time and you take the extra time, I expect a little extra polish. So you may be graded more harshly. Uh, in fact, you will be graded a little bit more harshly because I expect that you take the time um, to really make sure your typos aren't there, uh, make sure that your language is very clear, make sure that your AP formatting is perfect. So um, keep that in mind if you're turning the paper in this week, that that's what I expect. Okay. Um, as far as this week goes, we have another writing assignment. This is a different one. It's a... Uh, uh, Apologia case study, and it's going to be basically looking for product recalls or something or accusation of wrongdoing and uh, providing an analysis of the situation and uh, devise a plan to address it to the public and for the company. Um, so the directions are on the assignment page. And uh, as far as APA format, I don't expect, this isn't a paper per se, so I don't expect a title page all that sort of thing. I do expect a references page as well as citations when necessary. So in your, um, in your summary, then you're going to cite the Mattel toy recall or baby food recall or, um, you know, any, whatever you're talking about, you're going to cite those things. Uh, and you may be citing counterclaims or news articles that are, um, claiming, making claims. All right, so you do need to do it in APA format when you're citing outside information and throw a references page at the end so we can all, me, so I can see where you got the information and do that in APA format. Uh, but it is not a paper like last week, so I don't expect a title page, a running header. You can include a running header, but I don't require it, okay? So uh, you also have a couple of quizzes this week. Sorry, my cat is, is making his appearance here. Go on, bud. Um, yeah, so that's what we've got going this week, as well as a couple of quizzes and, of course, the discussion board. The discussion board does need to be in a video this week. We're back to videos. If you have any questions, as always, message me, and I can't wait to finish reading your guys' papers today and tomorrow and, and get you some feedback. Okay?